we thank you for Roy, for his sacrifice, for his service to his country, to his family, and to his fellow soldiers. We also pray, O oh Lord, for all the wounded warriors and their families, and we ask that in your mercy and your grace, you bring healing and support to them. Louis was a very happy kid. He always had a wonderful sense of humor, but also a big heart. He loved to help people, and he was very protective of his sister, very protective of his family. He finished high school earlier, so he joined the Army at age 17, and Julio and I very reluctantly signed the papers to say yes. But we understood that there's something that he wanted to do, so as parents, we just wanted to support him. The biggest challenge I have as a caregiver is to accept that I am in danger of burnout or caregiver fatigue. I don't think I have experienced the burnout yet, but the fatigue I have. Not sleeping as, as we used to sleep, you know, eight hours a day at night. Oh man, that was awesome. Now we just need to sleep whenever we can. Luis was injured November 14, 2011 in Afghanistan while serving his third tour. There was the result of an explosion. He lost both of his legs and suffered a brain injury. We were in shock when we saw the horror of how he looked. You sound good right now. Lots of coughing going on. Relax that arm for a minute, okay? We're gonna use this so you can see the cards. There you go. See the cards I have? So one is blue and one is red. His brain injury is the thing that we are focusing now, trying to give him the rehab that he needs trying to stimulate him and trying to help him remember things and identify objects and get responses from him. Where's the blue card? Yes, that one's the blue. Mm -hmm. He was a true severe polytrauma patient with a severe anoxic brain injury and I am asking God to heal him, you know. So, <laughs> I mean, you, you will say, there's nothing that can be done, you know. Does my strength come from the mountains? No, my strength comes from God who made At the beginning, I was angry, angry with God. He won't let you stumble. I always firmly believe that if you pray day and night, then God will provide this protection, this umbrella of protection. And so when Louis got hurt, you know, my question was, where were you? So the fear that he's gonna never recover, he's gonna die. And many times I just gave way to this fear a little bit and it became bigger and bigger and bigger like a monster that I myself was feeding. So then I told myself there is another road that you can take, the road of faith. But it is so hard to believe when everything is going the wrong way, you know. It's very difficult because there is not much that you can hold on to. So I chose the road of faith, rather, because the, the road that I took for fear you just, it's an, an awful, ugly, miserable road. Mm -hmm. 
our soldiers, they put their lives on the line for us. And they, they are hurt so bad. <laughs> it's my own. <laughs> and we as family are, uh, don't know what to make of it. When he, you know, fear comes, it hits us hard. We have to choose between the road of fear or the road of faith. My faith has been challenged, but I will say it has become a stronger, but humbler, maybe. I don't know, is that a good word? <laughs> Thank you, my son. Thank you. Thank you. You're awesome. You're awesome. Yeah. You're awesome.